Hey guys, Faisal here with Galaxy S3 Soft Modder, and uh, today I'm going to show you a new app uh, that joins the uh, AllCast family of apps, and it's called AllCast Receiver. What it does is it uses uh, the AllCast app, and uh, with the Receiver app on another device, you can send any content that you would normally send to a Chromecast or an Apple TV or a Roku from the AllCast app to that other device. Um, now this is great if you have an older uh, Android device or maybe an older tablet that uh, you know you want to use as sort of an entertainment unit. Uh, you can plug it into a TV using a, a MHL cable or if it's a really old device just a um, HDMI cable, a mini HDMI cable. But uh, first let me show you how to use it and then I'll show you how easy it is to hook up to the device. So um, now um, you know the article is written from the perspective that you know you got a new Galaxy S5, maybe you have an old GS3 lying around uh, that you want to keep uh, permanently connected to a HD TV. Um, but just for the sake of this video, I'm actually going to be switching those two because I just have a lot more video content on my GS3 than I do my GS5. But uh, you know it's going to work um, the same uh, regardless of which device you're going to use. So uh, again, what you're going to want, um, you're going to need really three apps. You're going to want uh, AllCast. You're going to want the uh, AllCast receiver app, which is here, and then you're probably going to want to pay for the AllCast Premium key. Uh, it's five bucks, which is a little steep for Android apps, but um, without it, you really can only stream up to a minute, which, uh, unless you're watching a short home movie, isn't going to do you much good. Um, but, you know, this is probably one of the better apps I've paid for. Um, it gives a lot of functionality. And, you know, I'll leave that up to you. Uh, again, you could buy the premium key and test it out for 15 minutes per Google Play policies. So uh, if you're not sure, uh, just give that a shot. But uh, once you're all set up to go, on the phone that's going to be hooked up to the display or the receiver phone, uh, go ahead and just hit the AllCast receiver button. Uh, and that's that's pretty much all it is, really simple. So leave that uh, alone for now, and then on the sender device, you're going to want to open AllCast. And from here, uh, it's going to search for players. So it found the, the S5, it goes by model number, so just tap on that. And now that it's connected, you can shoot over whatever content you have as far as uh, any photos, um, any music, or videos. Um, and then if you check out the article, if you have a rooted sending device, you can also cast directly um, Google Play Music from the Google Play app. But um, let me just show you here. I'm going to go to my gallery, and I've got uh, a few videos here. So let's just um, oh, let's try this workout video. So it starts there, and you can see on the S5, it's already going. So this is going to function more like a remote, where you can uh, pause, play, uh, you can go back and forward, I, I believe it's 10 seconds each time, but everything's happening on this device. Um, so it's, it's similar to a Chromecast in that way, but uh, the coolest feature, I think, is, let's put that away, you have this on, on the phone, which is great, but... Um, for a true entertainment center type experience, you're going to want it on a larger display. So, I have a MHL cable here. It was about 10 bucks from Amazon, and it's three ends. So this is the end that plugs into your phone. The other one's going to plug in uh, the HDMI end into your display, and then there's a USB end which plugs into a phone charger. So once you have those two plugged in, go ahead and plug this into your device. and you're going to see HDMI cable connected. Uh, and then once you do that, as long as your display is on, it's going to go ahead and shoot over right to your display. Just like that. So, you know, if you leave your receiver device plugged in at all times, then uh, basically you've got a wireless um, streaming setup. And it's really easy to do. Again, these cables are pretty cheap. They're only about 10 bucks. And I'm um, just going to pause it here. And, um, you know, with that, uh, it's a great way to use an older device that really you're probably just keeping around as a safety net in case, you know, you do anything to your new device. Uh, so this gives a, a little bit of new life uh, to your older device. And if you're having any issues with streaming, which you really shouldn't um, with any of the more recent devices, it probably has more to do with the internet connection. Go ahead and go to AllCast and hit the settings. 
and just um, you can change the bit rate there with the first option. So got a few. Uh, I would try adaptive first, um, but if you're still finding issues, then start with the lowest one and work your way up until you get one that's not too choppy, and then you can just stick with that. Um, so that's pretty much it, guys. Let me know if you have any questions. Make sure to uh, like the video, comment on it, and subscribe to our channel. And uh, make sure to check out the full tutorial over at Galaxy S3 Softmodder, and we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.